What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American, here today to react and learn about some English villages. And I have to say, I really like the title of this video that we are going to check out today. It says we are going to explore the magic of English villages in summer. Well, don't mind if I do. And <laughs> so we are going to see some beautiful English villages in uh, an area of England called Northamptonshire, Northamptonshire and Rutland. Uh, so I'm, I'm just really interested to see what these villages are like and how beautiful they are and all that great stuff. So, with that being said, let's take a look. I think this is my favorite orangery ever, with a oh. beautiful pond, fish, and water lilies. And as far as I know, it dates back to 1872. It's absolutely okay. breathtaking. Okay. So well, there's the orangery. What? An orange orangery? What is an orangery, by the way? It's beautiful. It's like this beautiful glass work of art, honestly. Is a uh, orangery, is that like a place where you grow oranges? Maybe? It's very cool. I've never heard of that. I'm just kind of going off of the name, I guess. Right next to it, a very picturesque church. What? Like, what? This is... See... This is one of the incredible things about England and the UK in general, I think, that you can just wander out and explore these incredible places. Like, this is beautiful. You, you can't just wander around the United States and come across, like, an old, like, beautiful church and an orangery. Like, this, this is actually amazing. I think it would be so nice to get married here. Ah. I'm pretty sure it's possible, so that's a great wedding venue for those wow. who are on the hunt. Wow! So, you can just go visit these places in England? Like it's just open to the public? Who is taking care of this? Because it's it looks so beautiful and like well-maintained as well. Wow. Huh, you can go in the orangery as well. Wow. What the heck? And um, it's not that crowded either. Like I would expect this place to be just full of people if if anyone can go here. How do you? What? How do you just have stuff like this? And uh, I don't even think we could have cool, nice things like this in America. I feel like people would, unfortunately, like, I don't know, vandalize it or, I don't know, mess things up, touch things, like, cause trouble. Like, I don't know if we could handle the responsibility of having beautiful, like, old... What, what did she say? This is from, like, the 1800s? Like, stuff like that, just open to the public? I don't know if we could handle it. <laughs> wow. Huh. So we left the gardens, and what we did, because we haven't seen that last time, or not really, we stopped in the village, Castle Ashby. Yeah, because it looks very nice to me. It looks absolutely wonderful, so picturesque, okay. and really, really peaceful as well. Would yeah. love to live here. An old English village. Yes. And <laughs> An old English village. This is so cool. What we said, because the Cotswolds are so popular, but lots of villages in Northamptonshire and Rutland are as equally stunning, just not... Uh, the Cotswolds. I feel like I've heard that name before. Is that like a popular or famous English village? I don't think I've ever seen that, though. 
Um, but, but anyway, what they're getting at is that there may be some, like, famous English villages people like to go visit, and they're saying that there's lots of other English villages around that, uh, are less famous, but just as beautiful. And I think that's what they're kind of highlighting here today. As, I don't know, not, not on everybody's radar. No. So we think it's really worth visiting. Yeah, it's a hidden gem. Yes. Okay. Look at these houses, and there's a lovely rose on the right-hand side. Wow. I love it. This just looks like the most peaceful place on Earth. Like, there's just quiet little beautiful English villages out there um, with, with picket fences and, and stone and brick and stuff, that, like historical buildings. And that's cool. That's cool that these places exist. And, and people just actually live here, right? This small village also has a hotel. Oh. We just stumbled upon it. Look at this is this is like in service. This hotel looks so old. I would have actually thought it wasn't open. But I think what that's telling me is that in England or maybe the UK in general is that there's a lot more older stuff. Like older buildings that are still like active and in service. Whereas here in America, that kind of stuff is so rare that usually it's closed off and uh or you have to pay to get inside or it's a protected historical site or but this is just like an old hotel that that's still open it's called the falcon huh looks really nice <laughs> very nice wow what? How do you, how do you have like beautiful ferns and plants growing up the side of your house? Like, is that, <laughs> is that by accident? How do you actually, because this house looks like out of a, a storybook or something, like an old medieval fantasy story. This whole uh, village has that look, actually. You, you don't find stuff that looks like this here in America. That's what I think is so cool. Yeah, just made out of brick. Made out of rand ma made out of random stones. Ha. Huh. Yeah, these are clearly very old uh buildings and stuff. That's very cool. We made it to Rutland, which is the smallest county in England, oh. and we're here in a village called Herringworth. We Rut Rutland. This is the smallest county in all of England, okay, and we're, we're in a graveyard, by the look of it. Really, really lovely. A beautiful church, beautiful houses, so we can really recommend stopping here. Wow! I think this might be the parsonage, because it's right next to the church. Has a beautiful vestiria in front of it. I mean, how? It's just building after building, like... Honestly, it's amazing. This style, this, it's like I said before, like this really is the kind of thing that for us Americans, we only see this in like movies or like books or this is really cool. Wow, look at this place. A farm. Stone building. There's something just incredibly peaceful about this whole thing as well. Uh, that they managed to incorporate so much like flowers and plants into the, the village and into the structures themselves. That's right, like here, there's, there's plants like growing around the windows even. How do you do that? <laughs> it's, it's very nice. We're now in a village called Exton. Okay. And it's absolutely charming and beautiful. Wow. All the roses are in bloom. And it's... Are there just 
a bunch of villages in England that look like this. And you can just travel around to them. And we haven't seen too many people walking around, funny enough. It's like, people do live in these areas, right? I, we haven't seen another soul this entire time. That's, that's kind of strange to me. <laughs> like picture perfect so this used to be a wow. school but it's now a regular house what and is that this is a house now someone just lives in this it's from 1874 wow St. mary's school wow oh my aunt is there like is there like a code like a hoa or or like a are there like rules on how you have to decorate your home in these villages, because everyone is on board with the beautiful, like, gardens and flowers and bushes that creep up around the doorways, and it, it's really awesome, and it seems like the whole village is decorated that way. Is, the, is that, like, the law, or...? <laughs> wow. This looks like out of... Lord of the Rings or something, like... <laughs> wow! What's... What's up with this roof? How... How... What is this roof made of? What is that? Wow! So nice, so beautiful! Oh my god. Oh my gosh. But seriously, what's up with the roof? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> and do people live in these houses? Because now I feel bad, like we're intruding, like filming, like we're filming video of their front yard. <laughs> like, are they okay with this? <laughs> wow. So nice. And even the the fences look handmade. Maybe that's what I'm trying to get out. Everything just looks natural and authentic and handmade. Such a wonderful break from the monotony and the cold, like, modern buildings and houses you see today that are just perfect perfectly made and designed meticulous like these are made with like craftsmanship and like a hammer and b b bricks and stone and the fence isn't perfect and there's something really really cool about that actually i'm surrounded by gorgeous yew trees you can see them here all sorts of shapes they look what <laughs> who who did this these are trees? This isn't like a bush? That's an actual, that's a tree. How did they shape them like this? And why, why do they all have little hats on them? They look like they have hats. <laughs> I have never seen a tree like this. Incredibly beautiful. And this is Glipsham Yew Tree Avenue. There okay. are 137 yew trees and they are more than 200 years old. No kidding. These are 200 years old. They're very, like, whimsical or something. Talk about something out of a fantasy book or something. This, this, this is just all stuff that you can visit around England. Like, this is so cool. This, again, you can just, you can't find this kind of stuff here in the United States. This is crazy. This used to be the carriage driveway to Clipsham Hall. It's okay. 700 meters long. And just imagine riding in a carriage wearing <laughs> a lovely dress. Okay. This is breathtaking. It is. It is. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be wearing a dress uh, driving down a carriage uh, down this path, but it is uh, breathtaking. Wow. And you know what's really great about this place? It's free. You can just come here, have a nice walk, enjoy a picnic. It's definitely one of the less known places. So put it on your list in case you're in the area. Seriously, like that's what I was kind of wondering. This is all free? 
like when you when you see cool stuff in America, they make you pay. There's just a bunch of awesome cool stuff here in England that you can just go and visit. Again, I can't help but wonder it might be because in America like people are a little less trustworthy, a little less responsible, and I feel like some people if it were free would just come out here if this were in America, come out here and maybe mess up some of these trees or cut one down or uh, unfortunately, I, I feel like that could be the case, and that's why they make you pay, and they have people watching you, and not in England. In England, you can just drive up and, like, enjoy things genuinely, and I think that says something about, like, English culture, actually. That's really nice. We're in a very picturesque village called Hambleton, which is on the Rutland Water Peninsula. Okay. And before we left for Rutland, we created a list with all the villages we wanted to visit. Okay. But we can't manage all of them. Look at this beautiful big cottage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's wonderful. Look at that door. That is the most solid wooden door I've ever seen. So there's just a whole bunch of these quaint lovely little English villages just around England. Is that right? This is, this is like somewhat normal or, or common. There's like a bunch of these villages. Wow. The funny thing is we don't really know if it's new or old huh. because you find a lot of houses here that are just, that were just built. In that kind of style. Yeah. Oh. Although, look like they're new. Oh, look at that uh, stone like fence as well. Uh, anyway, they uh, they actually build new buildings in these villages, but they purposefully design them to look like the old style architecture. That's very nice, actually. So the whole village kind of looks cohesive and stuff. Although, look at the, like, the rose and the gate. Yeah. That looks old. Yeah. That looks old, but the walls of the house look like they've been cleaned and... What, what's it called, the cottage? Is it a stone cottage? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's really nice. I re so, does someone actually live here in this cottage? Or... Because... <laughs> and, and who, or who maintains all the plants and the house and... Someone must live here, I guess, right? I really like the flowers. Yeah. And the front door is beautiful. Yes. The windows look brand new. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As if they've just been replaced. Mm. And it also looks like they've did a lot of I think, cleaning of the walls. So what do you think? Is it old or new? I think it's old because look at the roof. Yeah. Because you see that the roof isn't even. Yeah. Oh, the roof isn't even. Again, perfectly un imperfect. Perfectly imperfect. Maybe it's an old building, but they finally replaced the windows or something like that. Hambleton Hall. Wow! Oh my. Hold up. This. Look at this thing. Hambleton Hall. Who lives here? This thing is huge! And look at like the doorway and stuff. And the chimneys? This is a cool place. I don't even know what to call this style of architecture. Wow. Oh, and another little house in the village. <laughs> so so many like plants and and uh, flowers and the gardens are always so freaking nice in these little beautiful village houses. Oh my. Look at this. Look at this. This literally looks like your fairy godmother would live here. Like straight out of a children's story. Like look at look at this place. Wow. That is so cool. What? How do they do this? How do you get like a wall of foliage? on the side of your building. How do you even do that? That is so cool, this is so cool. These small little English villages in the summer. Now I understand, now I understand the title of this video finally. The magic of English villages in the summer. Truly, these are magical. Such cool designs, such care 
and peacefulness, like, in, in all the feelings of these villages. I can't say that enough. So cool. Such a unique part of English culture as well. Um, something that <laughs> simply doesn't exist here in America, and, and it's been so cool seeing this kind of stuff. Uh, anyway, this video, this video is great. This was by Kirsten and Jorg, two Germans in Britain. <laughs> nice. And I gotta give this a like, because this was so fun, kind of following them around as they explored these underappreciated English villages in the summertime. So cool. So cool. I, I really quite enjoyed this. So, anyway. If you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment with your thoughts on English villages, these villages, other English villages that we didn't get to see. That'd be very cool to hear about. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to the UK and UK culture, stuff around the UK I've never seen before, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching, and see you next time.